love and support if you haven't subscribed please 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 endeavor to do so like share this video and comment in the comment section whatever topic you like us to do together so today i'll be showing you how to cut and sew this shirt dress with a latin sleeves and because this Ankara already have a pattern. I don't want to tell you it. I'll be doing a separate button stand for this dress And of course you must have taken your measurements. So with that you will first of all draw an horizontal line here That's where you're taking all your vertical measurements as usual and so with that I'll create my neck using three inches depth and the neck width is three inches, like so. I'm using my pattern master to curve this, to connect the dot, like so. And so with this, the neck is created. And then I'll measure out the shoulder measurement of 16 divided by two, that's eight inches. At the point of eight inches, I'm coming down with one inch, that's for our shoulder slant. And at that point of one inch, I will connect it to the neck width measurements we took, like so. And so to create your armhole, from this point of the shoulder, I'm coming down with eight inches. At that point, I will draw a horizontal line. I will find a midpoint of this eight inches, which is four inches, and you mark it like so. And so you draw a straight line. From the shoulder to the eight inches we we marked and then you're drawing the horizontal line like I said and at the midpoint this way you measure half inch inwards half inch inwards at that point you'll be creating your ample Now this horizontal line forms my chest line automatically and so with that I need to locate the half length of 16 inches. I'm using the hip line of 25 inches and the dress length is 40 inches and I'm, I'm adding two inches for the hemming allowance and you would like to draw those dimensions out now on your chest line you're marking the one foot of your bust measurement which we are using 42 inches here and 42 divided by 4 that gives us 10 and a half inches and i'll go ahead to add one inch for our ease allowance and the seaming allowance on your half length here we are marking one quarter of your waist measurement 34 divided by 4 is 8 and a half and I'll be adding one and a half inches like so and then on the hip line we are using 44 inches 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches plus 1 inch for senior allowance on your legs you're bringing down the hip measurement which is 11 plus one inch like so and so at this point you will connect the dot from your chest line to your waist and from your waist to your to your hip measurement and you're taking it down like so same thing At the side of the dress, we'll be coming up with five inches 
from that point you will have to create a curve that will meet that will meet the hemming line like so so it's not going to be a regular straight side so at that point from your length you measure five inches upwards and then you will cuff it to meet the hem So with this, you would like to curve this out, not to make it so sharp. And so with this, the front body is set for us to cut. Okay, so to cut your back bodies, you bring your front bodies like so. There won't be any need for opening or joining at the mid back, so we're just simply putting it on fold, and then you bring your front bodies and place it like so now the back will be one inch higher than so we'll mark one inch up here and here and the back will be the back arm curve will be half inch wider than that of the front curve so those are the the two differences of the back bodies is and then you create the half inch curve like so so at this point the neck of the back of course will not have to come down this way so with this we just create a curve to be a shaped color so we just get a curve and then with that we we'll draw a straight line to meet the mid back like so with this you can now cut out our back bodies So with this now, I'll take it to the machine. Like I said, we are creating a separate button stand for the front bodies. I'll, I'll sew the side to the hanging and then I'll come back to show us how to cut the shirt collar and of course the Latin sleeves. For the button stand I'm making for the shirt dress, I'll be using this part of the fabric that we cut out and hold it. It will now give us one inch. We'll be using half inch to do the sewing. So I'm making three inches now for the. Remember, this is on fold. So I'll be I'll be cutting it open and then use one side for for each side. Okay, so I will add an interface here. I'll use the paper stick to comb this to have it to give it some more thickness. And I'll sew it to the gown and bring it for us to see. At the same time, I'll show us how to cut the the collar. Now, the color of that dress, the color of that dress is just the main color of the shirt that they use there. So we won't have any need to do another color of the shirt. So we'll just go ahead to cut the main color at the same time. But the color has to go round the waist. I mean, the neck measurements. Okay, so to cut the collar, we will need to measure the, the neck circumference that we are using so we can cut the collar that will go around the whole neck. So, including the button stand, I'm measuring it around, and that gives us about 22. One quarter inches. Twenty two one quarter divided by two gives us eleven one eight. We mark that out and we added half inch for seaming allowance. The height of the collar will be four inches. We are working that. Then at the edge of the collar, we'll come down with half inch and then move backwards with four inches. That's to make the collar relax when it is fixed. 
so i'm cutting it out now and i will have to cut another of this that will be like the facing for the collar we'll be using half inch to sew it all round and use half inch to sew it to the neck now to cut the sleeves you need to measure your armhole circumference it's actually from the armhole circumference you know how to do the the sleeve cuff that will enter this without any hitch so when you're cutting your sleeves you need to make sure that it will go round this is 22 and a half inches so i'm using the length of 18 inches and because we'll be using elastic for the sleeve so i can push it up some more to have some kind of puffiness so i can make it more um longer than the 18 inches i'm using for the sleeves so i can now up to five inches to make it puffy so five inches plus that 18 that gives us 23 inches so about 23 inches i'll be using for the sleeve and i'm adding one inch i'll be using one inch elastic for the sleeve so i can add up to two inches because i'll be folding it i'll be hemming it so about 25 inches that's what we're using for the sleeve and because it is not a fitted sleeve I'm not using the bicep length of a regular sleeve. Now, if you want to know how to draft a basic sleeve, I have it already on the channel. You can, I'll leave a link in the comment section. You can just quickly watch that as we're doing this. So, I'm not using the regular bicep length of a normal sleeve. So, I'll be using like about 6 inches. That so to be sure that the circumference we have here will go around the circumference of the armhole. So, at point six inches i'll be marking the half measurement of my biceps and circumference which is i'm using 16 inches as a bicep circumference but this sleeve is a bit free it's free so i can add up to two inches just to give me some ease so about two inches i'll be adding to that so 16 divided by 2 8 i'll be adding like two inches that makes it 10. so at the point of the bicep length i'm marking 10 inches and then I'm using half inch for the seaming allowance and at point 18 like I said I'm adding 5 inches more so that gives us 25 5 inches will give us 23 and I'm adding 2 inches for the hanging so at this point I'll just okay roll out this lines and the sleeve length and hanging elements so I'll just draw a straight line to make like so I can if this is if this is about 12 10 inches so let's see what we have here so I, I can of course snap to about 13 inches meaning I'm adding three inches extra to what we have here for the bicep circumference so at that point i'll link that to that point this way like a slant and then i'm going up with one inch for the sleeve curve if you don't curve it there's no problem but i want a better look of this even when it is in, in in elastic so from the bicep second point I'm looking it to the apex and of course I'll find the midpoint of this two which is 11 and a half the midpoint will be about about five three quarter so the midpoint like so now further divide the plane by I further divide it by two that's two three quarter so two three quarter that means the line is divided into four now and we have three points at the point at the first point we're using half inch upwards to curve from the apex to the midpoint And 
at the third point we're using half inch downwards beneath to cuff from the midpoint to the bicep circumference using the cuff part of my pattern master to cuff that and then at the midpoint here I'm using half inch to cuff that to the to the apex and to the arm cuff like so this we already have on the channel so you can easily do that watch that for a better understanding so that's it With this, at this point, you need to confirm if what we have here will end will go in perfectly into the armhole. So, what we are having here is about 12, 7, 8. 12, 7, 8. That would be us about 26 inches. So, we have more than enough, and of course, we can do some some pleatings on at the apex but if you don't want it that way you can as well reduce that you can reduce this to one one inch and from there you connect it to meet the slant that we, we already drew out initially so like so and of course the side bicep we had is eight inches so with this we can still make do with that at this point the sleeve is ready You're making a pair of it one for each armhole. Going back to notch the midpoint. So this arc is for the back bodies now, and this we are sloping it out for the front part. So we're taking that out now. Is ready to replicate that okay so we have the two button stands here and like i said we'll be using interface to give it some kind of firmness and then we'll be ironing half inch on both sides of this cotton stand and of course we're using interface for it to give it some kind of firmness and after we iron half inch on both sides we're making it on full and that will save for each side we'll be for the two and the same thing and the shirts color like i said we are sewing half inch all around here i'll be using half inch to attach it to the to the dress and these are our sleeves we'll join the sides and um, be using elastic for the edge so when we attach it to the dress we'll bring it back for us to have to have a final look of our sewing This is the final look of our shirt dress with all the details added. If you have any suggestion or idea how this can be made better, please leave it in the comment section. And if you like this one, give it a try and let me know how you did yours. Remember to subscribe and share and give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.